Okay, I'm gonna admit I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm very nervous. Okay, so this is the last morning in my camp, our camp. I've been here with Bob. We've been here four or five nights. And the only reason I'm leaving is because my black tank is full. It's full as it's ever been. It's pretty full. <laughs> and uh, I'd only planned on being here a couple of days anyway, but it was so hard getting in here that I decided, you know, I mean, I did a little damage to the rig and I decided I might as well maximize my stay here because it's pretty awesome. Can you back out? I hope so. This hill over here is probably going to be worse. Huh? That might be worse. Yeah, exactly. You want me to kill the recording?
those situations where I got myself into something that I uh, almost couldn't get out of. I tried to back up, but I had come down a big dip and I couldn't get back up it rear first because of the big overhang. I backed right into it. It was just like a bank. And the road was way too narrow, as you saw, for me to turn around. So my only option was to go forward. <laughs> we had to figure out a way to go forward. And so we started filling in the dip. Okay, so I eventually made it out of the rut, but boy, it wasn't easy. We put a ton of rocks in there, but it only took probably a half hour, but I still dragged. We tried a couple of times, and no matter what I did, I dragged. So uh, the last time, I felt like I was sinking in the rocks, and I felt like I was going to get stuck, so I just plowed through and did end up with some body damage. Nothing that can't be repaired. And the next big challenge was going up this big hill. Bob had trouble getting up it and had to back up and get a running start and there was a little bit of a curve to it so I was a little nervous here we go <laughs> no no option at this point but to plow forward here we go seem to go over very far. What do you mean? At, at an angle? Oh, I didn't. It didn't look as Not, you know, none of them look very bad in these videos. They're... And I decided I might as well maximize my stay here because it's pretty awesome. But uh, I don't know if I showed you. I don't know how much video I've shot. I've mostly been editing. But I'm going out for my morning power walk before I go, which I haven't been doing enough. I've been working too much. I love it here, <laughs> but it's unfortunate I'm not going to be able to come back because um, I'm really actually nervous. I've been sitting here for three days being uh, having low-level anxiety <laughs> about getting out of here. Uh, we had to fill in one of the dips with rocks in order for me to get through it, and I still dragged. It was a, a wash that kind of went through the road, and I mean, the road was a little bumpy and tough and narrow, but... The dip didn't look nearly as bad as it was, and it kind of caught me off guard. And I think maybe I've got a little bit of a false sense of security in the new shorter rig. I still have a pretty big overhang, and uh, yeah, and I got caught up. So heading out for my last walk this morning before I leave this camp, going to get mail, dump my tanks. What else am I gonna do? Go grocery shopping and stuff like that. Maybe get a haircut. My hair is up because I tried to cut it myself. <laughs> I went to three different places in Havasu City one day because I desperately all of a sudden decided I needed a haircut. Women, you can relate to this, right? None of them would take me. They all needed appointments. And I was just passing through. And um, I was like, yeah, I can cut it myself. Layers and all. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? I live out here mostly by myself. I'm not trying to impress anybody. You don't care what I look like. All right, I'm going to finish my walk. I just wanted to show you my camp. I'll be taking some pictures on my walk to kind of show you. Especially, this is Maria Wilderness behind me. I love to go backpacking in there. And then back down there. So I'm in California, just outside of Blythe. I don't know if you can see the farmland down there on the Colorado River. It's pretty. All right, I'm going to get my power walk in. I'll see you in a bit.
Bob went off to shoot his van going on that windy road into the mountains. It's really pretty. I would do it, but that's kind of rough on my RV. And I was already rough on my RV coming in. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But again, it's behind the bumper. Oh, hi! Come here! Hi, bud! He doesn't like walking on these rocks, so I left him home. Come say hi! Look! Hi! You want to come out? Come on! Hi, buddy! <laughs> hi, buddy! Hi, buddy! What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, everybody just left you. Bob and Cody left you. I left you. I was only gone for 20 minutes or so. All right, packing up. This has been my camp. It's pretty here. I'm really sad I won't be able to come back unless I have a four-wheel drive or a van. Bob made it with no problem. Yep, Phoenix isn't as versatile as I thought. Still an RV, still a Class C, still 25, 24 feet, and still, you see that, still have a large overhang. It might be as big as Matilda. And that's where I got hung up. Wish me luck getting out. <laughs> yeah, I'm very nervous. My black tank is, is full. I mean, I really can't get anything else in there. And uh, my biggest fear right now is that I'm going to tip over. <laughs> and that's going to go everywhere. Uh, I don't know. I might have to um, stop being so fearless going in places. And uh, I, I didn't charge my GoPro. I wish I had thought of it. I would have put the GoPro in the dash, but I didn't. And I need to focus on driving, so unfortunately I can't take you with me on this. Oh, but I'll see you on the other side and let you know how it went. Wish me luck! Okay, I will show you that. That's what we had to fill in with rocks. None of those rocks were there. We filled that in for me to come in, and I still scraped. So I'm nervous. And here comes Bob. Bob went ahead of me in case I need to be pulled out or in case I get stuck and we need to go get help. All right, here we go. Okay, my heart is racing. I made it through that one with no problem. Now this one, the reason I had to go through that is because I couldn't back up because of this right here. Where's Cody? Call Cody. So I'm in low gear. I'm in second gear. All right, turning off. Did this. Did this. Alright, I want to miss that rock. No, oh, this isn't bad at all. It's not as steep as I remember it. This, what I'm going down right now, is pretty bad. Just going inch by inch. My co pilot. How, bud? How we doing? Yeah, we're doing great. Oh, look at that, that's nothing. Well, I wouldn't say it's nothing. Ooh, yuck, that's a little steep. All right, I'm gonna go to the left. Well, as much as I can. So going through this, this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at my rear end to see if I'm touching, if I'm coming close to touching, and I'm not. See? It's all good. <laughs> we have another little dip here. Uh, but that should be fine, I think. Just inch it down, because I don't want to bounce. Alright, so we'll look at my rear end. And we're home free. <laughs> Didn't drag at all. Maybe a tiny, tiny fraction on that last bump going through the wash. Yay! I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah, that was a pretty cool spot.
right? Are you my co-pilot? <laughs> <laughs>